Hey, it's Mario here and in this quick video you're gonna learn how do you lose belly fat by sleeping more and uh, first off I want to point out that a lot of the videos that I've seen on this topic when you search for this topic are complete bullshit and nonsense either selling you some kind of magical supplement or some kind of foil that you wrap around your belly which is absolute bullshit that does not work do not do that that actually has very negative consequences for your health so first of all I want to clear up that you cannot spot reduce belly fat you cannot spot reduce any area of your body whether it's your fat on your glutes on your legs on your uh, face anywhere you cannot spot reduce the fat you have to reduce your overall body fat level by entering a caloric deficit for an extended period of time which means that there should be less energy coming in so less food less drinks less calories coming in then your body is expanding in terms of energy that forces your body to actually tap into the body fat reserves and burn off those reserves to compensate for the lack of energy. So simple negative energy balance where you have to hold that negative energy balance for an extended period of time and you will eventually lose belly fat as well and for men it's typically the most stubborn area of your body also with the glutes which is typically the area where the fat comes off last. So you want to make sure to enter caloric deficit and stay there until that belly fat really goes off and for men it's a typical around 10 to 12 percent body fat we really reduce the belly fat and you actually see your abs so that's important to point out here because i see a lot of bullshit a lot of nonsense out there um, i just wanted to clear that up so the tips from this video i'm going to give you four uh, backed up by research so this is the latest research from the fields of exercise science nutrition on fat loss and sleep so the first study that i want to mention and we said that caloric deficit there is very very important well it's a study that basically confirms that the caloric deficit is much more effective when you're getting enough sleep so this was a study done at the university of uh, chicago basically they put people in the same caloric deficit they were eating about 1500 calories a day and they had one group sleep about eight and a half hours versus the second group that slept only five and a half hours and at the end of the study they basically lost the same amount of weight but the group that slept less lost 55 percent less fat and much more muscle so the bottom line is that if you're really cutting down sleep if you're not giving your body enough sleep you will lose a lot more muscle on a diet and a lot less fat which is obviously something that we do not want to do we want to maintain the maximum amount of muscle we can even build some muscle if that's possible and at the same time burn the maximum amount of fat that we can i'm going to link this uh, research study in the description below if you guys want to read the full paper it's extremely extremely uh, insightful and you want to check that out the second tip is that your sleep getting the appropriate amount of sleep will allow you to stay in that caloric deficit much more effective because it's going to reduce your hunger hunger is a big problem when you're dieting i mean we've all been hungry if you're in a caloric deficit for an extended period of time if you've ever been dieting you know how it how difficult it gets after a while when you're just really not eating a lot of food and you're hungry all the time well if we look at the research what the research has to say is that sleep will actually elevate the levels of the hormone called ghrelin which which basically reduces your energy expenditure and at the same time makes you more hungry which is a big problem even that research from um, the university of chicago and more research from fields of endocrinology have shown that basically your leptin levels go down your ghrelin levels goes up which means that at the end of the day you will be a lot more hungry and you, it's basically gonna keep draining you until you binge and until you overeat until you blow your diet so make sure you get your sleep if your goal is to be in a caloric deficit to make that caloric, caloric deficit number one more effective and the second is to reduce your hunger and the uh, famous research number three is actually a very very good study on uh, what happens to your prefrontal cortex when you're lacking sleep and this study is very very fascinating because a lot of us when we're dieting down we're dealing with food cravings we're dealing with craving a lot of highly uh, palatable foods those high calorie foods that are very a lot of calorie density junk food processed food well one of the reason for that is actually our lack of sleep and that lack of sleep leads to less self-control because when they've done the research on this actually your prefrontal cortex has less activity and your amygdala has a lot more activity basically your cortisol should up as well which basically makes you crave for food more so you basically you're craving for food more you're in a caloric deficit you're more hungry and at the same time you're burning less fat so if you sum up i mean it's definitely a lose-lose situation you cannot win by not sleeping an appropriate amount i mean the appropriate amount is probably between eight and nine hours for most people once you pay off your sleep debt which can be quite a bit of a debt and we're going to get into that a little bit as far as the research goes so 
the bottom line here on the point number three is that if you want to diet down, you need to have some level of self-control, you need to have some level of willpower, and if you're not sleeping enough, that willpower will be depleted a lot faster, so you'll not be able to say no to yourself, right? You have that little voice at the back of your head saying, well, oh, that cake, you know, you've done a really good job for the five days of this week, you're in a caloric deficit, you've uh, accumulated a lot of those uh, good days, and now, oh, let's just do that cake, and that little slice leads up to like half a cake and then you come back home you you add on that like some chocolate and all these other things and bam your whole caloric deficit for the week is gone now you feel like a failure you feel like oh yeah i've let myself down and basically you judge yourself too much but the bottom line is that usually when we crave these things those days that we crave are typically the days we don't get enough sleep. I've experienced this many times. Basically, I have this <laughs> little issue when I'm about to fly. I cannot sleep the night before, and I end up at every airport, I end up sleep deprived, with sleeping it was like, like two, three hours. And uh, when I'm walking around through the airport, I can literally uh, <laughs> experience that my own mind is giving me thoughts like, oh, that chocolate is so amazing, you should try this, you should try it out, and a million reasons for me to try that. It's my body is craving for that food so much that I can barely control myself. I need to get into the airplane as soon as possible, get the hell out of that airport and get some sleep. That is really, really a big problem when you're dieting down, especially if your goal is to get to a six pack level, if your goal is to get super lean, that can be a huge problem. So get your sleep to basically have that higher willpower and have that self-control. And the final point is um, actually a really good research study from Brazil that came out and that showed that less sleep impairs your ability to build muscle, which is a big, big problem if you're dieting down because not only will it not allow you to build new muscle, but it's also gonna prevent you from uh, basically rebuilding and keeping on and holding on to that muscle, which is a huge issue if you're dieting down, it means you're losing more muscle. So sleep is actually one of the best ways to prevent muscle loss when you're dieting down. And a lot of guys have been asking, well, how do you diet down, well, how do you cut down without losing muscle. Well, number one thing is get your sleep. Obviously, you wanna get your protein, you wanna train hard, but without sleep, as I said there in the study from University of Chicago, you're mainly gonna be losing muscle mass. You're not gonna be losing fat. So you wanna make sure to get the appropriate amount of sleep. As I said, I'm gonna link all these studies in the description below. And as I said here with the final point, you wanna make sure that your effort in the gym is actually being fruitful, like that you're getting some ROI on your lifting days, on lifting weights, on progressing in the gym, and that will only be possible with a sufficient amount of sleep. So don't uh, deprive yourself of sleep. And this is a really, really fascinating thing because a lot of us, we're not aware that we are actually lacking sleep. And this is a problem because the effect is cumulative. It actually compounds over time and we gather a lot of sleep depth, we're not even aware of it. And there was a really good research study on this as well, where they uh, studied people at the beginning when they had enough sleep and they did some mental uh, exercise with them, some brain tests and all these things, and they had a score for them. And they l put them on a sleep deprivation kind of uh, cycle, and then they were sleep deprived, and they gave them the same test, and the people that did the same test actually performed a lot less, but when the researchers asked them without showing them results, obviously they asked them, how did you perform? They thought that they did the exact same uh, performance, right? They thought that they did as good as when they got enough sleep, which was obviously not true. So they were basically lying to themselves. They were not even conscious that the lack of sleep was impairing their mental performance, which is a huge thing as well. In today's world, I mean, Obviously, we wanna get a healthy body, we wanna reduce our body fat, but also we wanna be able to perform mentally, we wanna be able to be productive, and our high productivity will lead to good things, so allowing us to give more value to the world and produce more and make um, a better life for ourselves and people around us. So I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. As I said, all the research will be in the description below. Super, super key. Get your sleep, guys, if you wanna get the best results, if you wanna lose your belly fat. This is the ultimate key, as well as being in that caloric deficit, getting your protein, getting that exercise, but don't skip on sleep. I know a lot of advice out there is gonna be saying, oh, Arnold slept six hours, you know, Elon Musk sleeps four hours. Research just doesn't verify that. I mean, a lot of that is just an anecdote taken out of a book or some kind of magazine article. 
Uh, what the research shows is pretty damn clear. We need our sleep if you want to be the highest performing uh, man as you can be, of course, being the best version of yourself. So make sure to get that sleep. Aside from that, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below as usual. And make sure to hit that subscribe button right in the face to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.